So, I have to say, I absolutely love My Hero Academia. It's set in a world basically opposite of the X-Men world from Marvel, where pretty much everyone has a mutant power, or it's called a quirk in the show. And only a few people are, well, normal. But, like I said, that's not really normal anymore. And the show follows Midori, who is one of these normal, unpowered people, on his journey to becoming one of the world's greatest Heroes. Honestly, I love the premise of the show and the characters are fantastic. One of the characters being Tenya Ida or Ingenium. Ingenium has engines literally built onto and into his legs. That's kind of what his power is. It gives him super speed and actually causes him to have a fighting style that's somewhat possible. So let's see what you can do to become a real life Tenya Ida in this video. And at the end of the video, I'll even show you a combination that you can practice right now in your backyard. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja and specifically the fight like a superhero series. A series where I break down how to become some of your favorite characters from TV, movies, and games. We are going into what I believe, if I remember correctly, is the first character in My Hero Academia, Tanita. And obviously you already know that because you saw the intro, so let's get into it. Attention, homeroom class is about to begin! Everyone stop talking and take your seats! So, in order to understand his fighting style, we have to first understand his quirk. His quirk is called engine. It's basically like actual car engines in his calf muscles. This gives him both incredible running speed and awesome kicking power. So in order to fight him, you're gonna have to find some incredible leg strength. Starting with the physical abilities, you're gonna wanna start with track, like start running track. Running and building up that stamina is incredibly important, especially considering the tactics that Ida uses. He has a very hit and run style of combat. Literally being able to run in and out of combat without getting wounded and tired is the most important part of his combat style. And being faster than whoever you're fighting Fighting is always a plus. This will allow us to step in and save someone when they need us, but also run away to fight another day when things get out of hand. Or I guess not another day, but you get it. Your class rep has returned. I fulfilled my duty and I brought reinforcements. Track and field will also help for Ida's incredible jump height, which will uh, assist in our kicks as we learn them a little bit later. And speaking of kicks, his fighting style is pretty much entirely just that, all kicks. And in the show, it makes total sense considering what his quirk is, but will it actually work in real life? Oh yeah, but it's not gonna be easy. You can absolutely kick people in Street Fight and be incredibly effective. However, kicking is not easy, so it takes an insane level of skill and training to be good enough to actually pull it off in a combat style, especially entirely based on kicks. However, there are a couple ways to do it. First, you start with Taekwondo. There is arguably no better martial art as far as kicking goes that you can start with. This is a Korean style of martial art that does involve punching and kicking techniques. However, it's famous, literally famous for its ability to kick uh, and its practitioners have the ability to do things like head height kicks, jumping kicks, spinning kicks, dropping and uh, uh, sweeping kicks, and pretty much any other type of kick that you can think of. Like, it's literally famous for it. And they do it all while being incredibly fast. Like, as fast as a person's jab can be. But we're gonna go even further than normal Taekwondo and spec into Olympic style Taekwondo. These guys do almost entirely kicks and have crazy levels of speed and force behind them. <laughs> They're literally able to put their foot in someone's face before they know it's happening. This will allow our real life version of Ida to be able to hold its own in combat against most other people they may come in contact with. Now there, however, there are some weaknesses to just doing this style. This style will be fairly weak to grapplers, people that like to grab you and take you to the ground and stuff like that or um, power type builds, like bodybuilders like Bane or Thor, Mandalorian, people who can take a lot of damage and keep on swinging. All of those characters are being covered in a previous video, so check it out. But that's also true for the character in universe as well, which is why we're sticking to his hit and run tactic because that's gonna be the best bet at not getting 
held down for any long period of time. Now, what would you rate this build? Give it a one out of 10 in the comments below, but before I let you go, let's go over a combination that you can practice right now in your backyard. Now let's take that style and break it down into a combination. This combination is going to conclude a crescent kick into a spinning crescent kick and then finishing with a tornado kick. Just one, two, three, non-stop going one into the other, into the last one and then getting out of it. Obviously minus the super speed because you know, it was a bug, but we don't have super speed. So starting off into a combat stance with one leg in front, one leg behind, and your feet nice and wide so you can move pretty easily. You wanna be able to move quickly without having to take too much time or be in some you know, super deep stance that you can't really move fast from. Because like I said before, the emphasis is on speed. So going from here, we're gonna take our back leg to do our first kick and it's gonna cross our body and come up and around, hitting our opponent across the face, specifically aiming for the hinge of the jaw. So one more time, back leg, cross, comes up and around, like that, like that. Just nice and simple. And then when you set your foot down, you wanna set it down exactly back where it started. Then it's to our turning kick. You're actually gonna turn in, a, in an order that's very important. You turn with your head first, chest second, legs third. And that will allow you to whip that leg all the way around. So from here, you've just done your crescent kick, your back leg, or I'm sorry, your head will turn all the way, letting your legs pivot, letting your legs pivot so you can see where your target is and then your chest, so your chest can see where your target is, and then your right leg comes around, just like that, and again, landing where it started. So one more time from the side. My head turns first, my chest second, my legs follow. All the way through, you have one, two, just like that. Now we have our tornado kick, which is probably the harder one, but the most fun version of this kick, or uh, kick in this combination, in my opinion. Our back leg, once you land your, your spinning hook kick, or spinning crescent kick, you're going to still do the same thing with your head, looking, you're gonna point your right knee towards your target, you're gonna switch, and crescent kick out. One more time, I'll do it sideways so you can see. You're gonna turn your head towards your target, point your right knee at your target, you'll switch and crescent kick. All the way through, bang. And going sideways. That knee that you lift and point towards your target acts as your jumping point. So as you throw your knee in the air, let your entire body come off the ground and that's how you do the kick. It's super hot out here in Texas, guys, so excuse me, but if you want a more detailed version of this kick or a detailed breakdown of this kick, let me know. I've done a couple tutorials in the past, or I can do a fresh one to, to you know, to get it out there, to let you guys have at it and give it your best shot. But either way, let me know down in the comments below. But now it's time to string that combination all together. Back leg, one, same right leg, Two, right knee, left leg. So your kicks will be right, right, left. And there you have it. Good luck with that combination. I wish you the best of luck to incorporate that into your personal fighting style. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos like these, cause I'm gonna be pumping out more of these kind of videos a lot in the near future, cause I feel like you guys like them. Uh, there'll be others as well, but I just wanna I'll, I'll focus on these a lot more cause you guys seem to like them. But with that said, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about another anime character, Sanji from One Piece. Or this other video you think you enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.